And on our side is your local election headquarters, and they keep on coming, and you can't miss them anymore. The ads in the heated race between Congresswoman Elaine Luria and State Senator Jim Kiggins. Today, we look at who is paying for them. Ten on your side's Brett Hall is following the funds. She gets it. That's Jen Kiggins. It's the most expensive house race in both Virginia and North Carolina this year. The race to be the next to sit in Virginia's second congressional seat. Congresswoman Elaine Loria has represented the district since 2019. But this year, the district is different. So her district is now much less favorable to her. Old Dominion University political science professor Ben Molusky says redistricting has taken the seat from plus two points in favor of Republicans to plus six. Meaning, this race has received a lot of national attention. Republicans are trying to take back control of the House of Representatives. To do so, they must flip at least 10 seats. If the Democrats are going to be able to hold on to their slim majority in the House, it's going to have to go through the second district. Hence, big money is flowing in. According to Open Secrets, a website that tracks and analyzes political contributions, Loria is far and away the top fundraiser, garnering $8.8 .8 million. She's out fundraising even the average of all members that are running for re-election in the House. Many of her top donors are out-of-state political activist groups, such as Emily's List, a group looking to elect female candidates in favor of abortion rights, as well as the Pro-Israel America PAC and the American Israel Public Affairs Committee. Compared to her challenger, a good sizable chunk of the majority of her funds are coming from out-of-state, so there's a lot of attention on her district. It's true Kiggins, roughly $2.7 million comes mostly from in-state donors, individuals from the Franklin Johnston Group, Priority Automotive, and Ripley Heatwall Company have all donated more than 10 grand. When asked what money a candidate wouldn't take, in a statement, a spokesperson for Loria's campaign says the donations that they will never accept are from private prisons or big pharma. Jen Kiggins is a fraud. I'm getting hosed here. Blame Elaine Loria. But many times, the money behind ads isn't in a campaign's control. In actuality, it's large PACs that have funded many of the ads. Congressional Leadership Fund is responsible for the content of this advertising. Vote Vets is responsible for the content of this advertising. PACs have spent north of $8 million in this race. And unlike candidates, there are no limits to the amount of donations they can receive. It means that we're going to see a whole lot of ads, you know, between now and Election Day as that money gets burned down. Now, it's worth noting we also reached out to Kiggins multiple times for comment on this story. We never heard back from her campaign. Looking for fundraising in your district? Links to that on Wavy.com. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.